Welcome back everyone, day 35. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. So I'll go over what I've done today. Um, just real quick. Um, put in the outlet for the uh, 30 amp plug. Um, I would be plugged into it, except I forgot the pigtail in the other trailer. So I have to go get that and test it out, but real simple. Um, just ran it through. I got to clean up the wire and then that goes to the transfer box there. Um, one's 15 amp, one's 20 amp. So one's dedicated to the air conditioning for an outlet. And then, then the rest run to this one, this 15 amp. And then it, what I'll do is I will pigtail from these to all the outlets. And if I'm not somewhere I can hook up the shore power, I have the inverter. Um, so that's kind of it. And then this, my charger, I did a Power Max 55, was just basically staying there um, once you're plugged into shore power. So that way it just kind of always runs there. And why is that not going in? But there it goes. These plastic outlet covers are not the best. Um, so that's kind of that. So um, what else did I do today? Oh. Well, I made the fender, attached the fender on, and then I added the step. Um, so that's just kind of s sitting there now. I uh, used the Harbor Freight Titanium 125, and then I actually got a Cut 50 uh, plasma cutter. So that was kind of nice to, rather than grinding, angle grinding down the whole side, um, went really quick. Um, not the best at cutting straight lines, but um, I used a board actually and just kind of did that. Um, ran the guy a, a piece of board as a guide, uh, which made it really much easier to do, a much straighter line. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, give you an idea. Down there, I did the back um, plate to guard against rash. There is some minor gap on the top that I'm going to put a piece of trim I guess along the top to get it so it's flush to the camper which I think is nice and then actually now that the wheel's off you can see that's the water tank that's in there um gonna build a uh I have some sheet metal left I'm gonna build a uh like kind of a uh, shield there um so that's that and then you can give you an idea And then basically, well, I close to identical on the other side. Um, so that came out pretty easily um, and welded on there. I think this I'm just gonna leave blank just as like kind of a one foot step. Um, I don't think it needs anything there. It kind of would be difficult to weld anything to because I'd rather keep as much space away from the camper as possible. Plus it's hard to weld against Fiberglass um, didn't even get really too close, and you can see it's kind of scuffed up. But I'm going to cover that up with some uh, aluminum stripping, so that'll cover the white that's not quite painted, and also, um, you know, like a touch up with any of the paint. Next thing I had to do is cut the tire, the spare tire, with a plasma cutter. Hopefully it goes through. It is just a on a 110. Um, just got to measure and then kind of figure that out. So. That should be decent. It's three eighths inch thick. Um, what else did I do today? That's about it. Tomorrow is going to be finish up the steps and then we're going to add the trailer lights on. Um, goal now is to get the trailer lights on. Um, Got to mount all those. Um, I have some, you know, the uh, side markers and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get all those taken care of and done tomorrow. And that way I could start getting the homemade trailer registered here in Pennsylvania. Um, so you have to get it inspected and everything else. So while I'm waiting on that process, I could finish up the back camper and the kitchen and the, or the galley, excuse me. Um, I could take you inside. I don't know if it's pretty much in every video, but you can kind of get an idea just dusty so fans in there I gotta 
hide the wires and put the trim up there too. So that's something that I'll do next. Um, any questions, anything else, please let me know. Um, look forward to helping the next person build. I know a lot of people have been helpful to me. So um, it's been kind of a process. Um, and also too, you know, excuse me. So I got the underneath lights and the above lights. Um, and that's basically it. Any questions, any concerns, any recommendations, please let me know and look forward to answering all your questions. Thanks a lot and please hit subscribe.